the Abbey at St. Leo sits upon a very powerful piece of land right above Lake Jovita, also known as Clear Lake. There's very intense landscaping, horticulture, geology, um, multiple levels to this church. There's obviously a basement. I actually suspect a little bit of tunnel, pitch, and yeah, see if I can't get some more footage. Here's a very phenomenally, phenomenally placed fountain. Of course, there's usually a lot of facading um, over time, renovations, but it's hard for me to even really understand what uh, this stuff is really made out of because I just don't know. Um, could be facade, maybe not. I think it's new. It looks so precise, I just don't know. Um, it's interesting that it's definitely on the windows as well. I'm on camera. Well, oh, you're on camera too. I mean, I think it's original. You can see it's extremely oxidized, whatever it's made out of. So it's possible that it's original. I'm just not sure. Sandstone geopolymer. You can pause if you'd like to read that. The first incorporated town in Pasco County. So many rocks, just scattered, coral rock. Absolutely scattered and utilized in different ways all around the campus, even in the woods across from the campus. But most people forget, anytime you have a massive church, here you can see the front door, just kind of antiquitech, old world structures, you're always gonna have a dynamo just offset from it. I know you can't hardly see it, see it, but if you count, you would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And so this was definitely an octagon shaped foundation just offset from the building. It's always your dynamo guys, your electromagnetic motor. Dynamos powered the world's fairs. That's what Tesla used to power the Chicago World's Fair. I'm not saying it wasn't point sourced from Niagara Falls. What I'm saying is there's always a dynamo when you have Antiquitech. It looks like this. All right, let's go see, prove to you that there's always a basement. If you kind of assess the bricks used on these old structures, and there's some in downtown Dade City, they're like a limestone type of bricks, definitely a quartz-like. It doesn't matter how far you chip into them, they're never red, really. They're white. And um, you can see the old bricks versus the new bricks on this building on the backside for sure, but just so you guys know, when you walk into these churches, there's almost always a basement you may or may not know about in a full level for sure, as we see here. And as we have these rooms, these are actual, you know, college campus dorms still, I believe. But if you don't think that this is a strange um, entrance or set of dorms right here, whatever this is, you're not paying attention. I'm sorry, but the top of this structure is right off the ground. I'm 5'9", and I could jump up and smack that red symbol. As you can see, there's an entire under layer in here. It's just a little different. Always pay attention to the levels. This is strange, but very interesting. Not sure I would want water flowing downhill to flow right into these windows. Obviously, as you can see, the top of this structure, <laughs> I can almost, I could jump up and grab. That's not high at all, it's very awkward. Moving on. I'm not sure if they're open today or what the policy is, but.
a literal mariachi performance going on in here in secret today. Super cloudy. Smoky from sage. Is it sage that burned? This college campus still has monks living here full time um, at the Abbey. I really don't know how that works. It's almost like this place was its own like private sovereign land as they have their own post office, private security. It's interesting, but it's just stunning. The most peaceful campus you can imagine. This has obviously been facaded, but it's been here as long as I can remember. Yeah. And this campus spans from the far side of the lake that way. As far as you can go that way. I think the monks live somewhere over here. So I'm on the back side of the church where the monastery private do not enter connects to the back side of the church, but you can see the difference in the brick and these bricks are obviously newer and these bricks are the oldest type of bricks i'm not going to tell you how i know you can find in dade city um, and they're limestone or like quartz like and the same bricks are in downtown dade city in specific locations and you can find them but you don't see them anymore um, i know they're painted over but if you were to take some or chip any off you would find out that there is no iron oxide or redness to them they are all white bricks and generally like limestone quartz of course you have coral rocks scattered everywhere throughout this campus but something people don't really notice about the monastery and the ones that live here full-time is that they really do still care about their horticulture and they they spend a lot of time with it. I mean, even the new stuff, they're still planting food and exotics. That's their private monastery, and it's just full of plants. It's really cool. Of course, this building's been, of course, this old building's been facaded and re-roofed and all that, but you're always gonna have your octagon dynamo sometimes built right in windows on the ground remember that guys windows on the ground and again sometimes your dynamos and octagons are built right into the structure so i'm at the welcome center there's a gift shop right here you can come and visit the monastery there's the church and if you walk straight across straight across from the lake there's a concrete staircase that leads into the woods and that concrete staircase leads right into something that most people don't even know is there. And that is the grotto. Let's go. I thought this was an interesting one. Steam engine hauling cypress through the swamp. Wow. Okahunka. Interesting. golf course I'm a Catholic in case of an accident kindly notify a priest my social security number interesting it's 
I am a Catholic, please call a priest. They're trying to collect these people after they go. It's important to them. All right, so across from the Abbey, across the highway, the ra pretty random stairs, obviously poured a lot newer than one would think, but still, a very intentional set of stairs going into the woods, the day of the grotto. We're on top of a pretty big hill. One thing I want to make sure you know is that this hill, directly from the front door of that church, there's a tomb in the woods, the way the crow's crow flies. And we're going to go check it out. All right. I don't know what kind of trees these are. My granddad used to call them paper trees. Very intentional. Um, someone said that he thought they were like eucalyptus trees. I don't think they're eucalyptus trees, but they're really tall. Really awesome. And uh, yeah, this is our walkway into the grotto. Very intentional. All right, so in the grotto we have an old tomb over here covered in ferns and a tomb over here. And I know nothing about religion, hardly. But oh, hexagons, you always have hexagons. I don't know if you know, but this is all coral rock and coral rock has hexagon strands inside of it. So they say it's coral rock. It looks like freaking petrified wood to me. Um, this to me, that, that just looks like petrified wood. As you can see, the life that's on it. If you had stone here, that algae wouldn't necessarily be on it. And sometimes in the middle of these, a lot of times actually, it's like flint-like. Um, it's just common. Paul Cook has been mentioning that a little bit lately. So I'm not sure what's going on there. I definitely don't know what the heck this is. What's wrong with you there, buddy? You look like you're like metal or iron. But yeah, I'll, I've taken a piece of these away. Like, look at that. You tell me that does not look like wood. I know it may be, quote, coral rock, but what is coral rock? Is coral rock old living organisms that are just laid out in the ocean for a long time? I mean, it gets very chert-like or quartz-like in the center. But yeah. So again, I am not very educated on religion at all whatsoever, but I do recognize the three entryways, you know, all the time in temples and behind the Last Supper and things like that. And this tomb to me, maybe it's not a tomb because there's nobody buried in it, is a uh, very projection like as in masculine, like ones and zeros, a sword. The other one, it's, it's I believe it's the Virgin of Mary, is recessed into the wall and he's out. He's projected out towards you, coming towards you. So this to me reminds me of masculine and feminine. And so I just don't know the process. So I could sound very silly, but just know that, you know, you have Jesus on this side and you have Mary on the other side, but she is recessed into the wall. And I think of everything like masculine, feminine, ones and zeros and point source and water versus air kind of deal. But yep, this is the inside of our tomb. It's interesting. You could walk off. You could walk off the link and walk off your cross. So if I were to walk here, you have your cross. It's there. Um, the concrete's an afterthought. That's definitely just kind of covered up and painted. I don't know what it looks like back there, what it would have at some point. This concrete to me is very an afterthought, strange, covering something up, and you'll see why I think that in the next one. Cool. Don't forget your entryway for your gnomes. Don't forget the little people. Even your fire pit, which has been here forever since the first time I saw this place when I was a kid, is in the shape of a hexagon. Hexagons are very hexagons are very important out here so check it out let's go up to the other tomb 
And I do call it a tomb for a reason. And you'll see why. I guess these are all the saints on this side. Interesting. Like this side, really. Well, there's a bell tower, um, just like the church out front. And like I was saying, she's recessed into the wall. The other one, you know, he was out in front, coming towards you, reaching towards you. She's got her hands towards her heart. She's receiving. She's she's not as projection like. Um, but again, you have the same same like this stuff is so alive like i can't even explain to you how that doesn't really happen on rock that's not once petrified <laughs> like why coral rock looks like that on the inside let me walk back up to this one again because i kind of at the bottom of the bell tower i think we have some instructions of course you can pause that. And then interesting on the opposite side. What do we have this? Is this a, supposed to be some sort of water cistern or something? I don't know. But I always thought that this was very awkward. You have a ooh, hexagon shaped tiles, of course. But you have a tomb. Like, what's up with the tomb? Right here. Like this is where... This is where you're gonna bury him. Right here. Like, I can't even walk into the, I can't even walk in to pray without stepping over this granite tomb, which if you stomp on it, we think is uh, maybe covering something up. This is the one that goes straight. If you drew a straight line from here to the church, it's uh, pretty much a straight line and there's a big hill. And it's like, some days I sit here and wonder, what if there's a dang tunnel <laughs> that goes from the church all the way out here? It's not abnormal or out of the question for these old churches at all whatsoever. It's just not, you know? And like, you're telling me this is coral rock? This looks just like a tree knot, a hole in a tree. It's just like a hole in a freaking tree. I'm sorry. I just think this is petrified wood. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, so be it. But darn, the colors, man, it reminds me of the silicon the uh, petrified silicon trees out in those national parks. It's just not there yet. So, yeah. Awesome. Beautiful spot. It can be eerie at times, but maybe that's the warlock that lives <laughs> a couple streets over on Witcher Street. I don't know if they still live there, but there's a warlock that used to sneak in here and have creepy like seances or whatever do witchcraft in here with the kids a long time ago when i was younger it was actually kind of funny but yeah the uh the foliage in here under this canopy like i'll be doing a job it's so hot in the summer and i'll be doing manual labor and i'll come here and i'll have my lunch under here because it's actually cool and everything's just so intentional I mean, there's food hidden all throughout here. A lot of old orange trees, they would never take out food. But again, spiral ginger, bamboo is endless. Angel's trumpet, I forgot. Angel's trumpet is really popular all across this camp, campus and in the grotto. Yep. All right. Catch you later. And right down the road from the grotto, not too far at all. Those are the woods the grotto is in. You have St. Anthony's Elementary School with a coral rock wall in the front, of course, that doesn't match anything, totally out of place. And a basement underneath, basement floor, of course. Basement floor underneath this facaded Catholic church as well. We've got two bell towers. That's a lot more common, Vatican style. But you're out of place. Coral rock wall again. Coral rock statue. But there's something interesting about these here. Catholic churches. I know this is facaded, but when you got these old guys, you always have one of these. Your coral rock. Tunes. Here's my issue with this tomb. 
You can clearly see where they had to do some repairs or something. Something's going on because you can see the repair line. See where it's like living, dead. You went from coral rock to limestone. The limestone was definitely later on repairs, fill-ins. That's like what your stone anchors are made out of. <laughs> Wood first limestone. See the difference? And we have Mary recessed into the wall. Your feminine ones and zeros. But my problem is always in these daggum tombs. You always gotta have yourself a very awkward piece of ground underneath. Like, does every one of these Catholic churches have a tunnel leading to a tomb? <laughs> is that where... Like, the, the priest that's buried in the other one? Like, is that where the... Uh, is that where the tunnel used to pop out a long, long time ago? Like, you're gonna sit here and tell me that this doesn't look like a tree? What are we talking about? You know what hexagons are all about? That's it right there. There's your hexagons, there's your coral rock, there's your fibers, your biology, that's your biological fibers. Yep, it's like this in the center, like those uh, silicon, petrified silicon trees out in the national park, very colorful too, interesting. Oh, and you cannot ever forget if you have a Catholic church. I know, once again, this one's facaded. It doesn't look old at all. It looks new. You always have to have your octagon <laughs> with the weird foundation, an old foundation. There's your dynamo. You always have to have a dynamo. Plain and simple. I don't know if it's like, if I'm totally crazy and it means nothing. Maybe there's a old Catholic church architectural playbook rules you have to follow that nobody knows why but you have to have an eight-sided octagon pergola just offset from a old building with a basement and coral rock timber